What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we are talking about this hero right here, DNL, how amazing he is, one of the best PvP compositions out there, uh, however, I'm telling you right now, you should not build him, <laughs> because again, his main highlight is PvP, which we are going to show you guys here in a couple arena battles, we're going to show you guys a supreme battle, uh, and how certain artifacts can be good or bad with him, the biggest thing is his ultimate dawn light, getting himself up into the air, throwing down those javelins and causing so much aoe damage is crazy there are some other side bonuses of course if you do get him to mythic plus you are going to want to make sure he has three allies giving him stacks of intoxication and he gets those of course when they give him some sort of temporary stat boost uh that's going to help a ton because if you do have him at mythic plus that's going to allow him to deal additional damage the one really cool thing with his guardian shield which is his seasonal ability he gains shield every two seconds if the hp drops below 30 percent in the first 15 seconds of battle so if he's somehow getting like insta killed he does have survivability to get him going and of course his regular attack literally is a giant piercing spear it goes through every single target on the battlefield and i absolutely love this hero however again unless you're just really focusing on pvp this hero is not really one you need to go for so we're going to show you guys a couple different things i want to test out a couple artifacts like cascade spell to get him to an ultimate faster uh it can be a good strategy but if you're going up against like a mirror against another dnl i have a feeling it's not going to be great because you almost want to be the second dnl into the sky that way you can deal some extra damage to the other dnl when they drop to the ground so we'll see if we can find a mirror match or something like that in um whatchamacallit in in the season arena the supreme arena the other ones of course that are good by default in lightning spell if you're going against a heavy control team it makes sure you can't be controlled more aoe with star shard spell so there's a lot of different options we're going to go over a few of them here so hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's show you guys why he's god tier but you should probably not build him so when it comes to regular arena we are going to be locked into the original six artifacts so you can't go ahead and use the new ones however when you do jump over to the other game modes which we can take a look right here uh when you go jump over to the supreme arena you can use pretty much anything you want and it looks like this account is doing pretty solid here we're gonna jump back into this fight right here we're gonna see if we can get a win and you can see the team we're running as well it's very much a hypogen and celestial centric we have swaps we have all these things in reality i want to probably swap here potentially although maybe i don't i don't know there is the question of what artifact to use star shell shard spell is huge for you know the haste and everything the one really nice thing with the lightning speed is it can potentially keep get him to a faster ultimate and on top of that he cannot be crowd controlled this is pretty much what he's had locked in let's see how this turns out i'm intrigued to see how it goes however i kind of want to swap on that carolina if possible like this i feel like that could be a pretty cool combo maybe something like that uh let's see how this works out swapping her out see if we can nuke her down immediately although i don't know if i want to swap the dnl that actually doesn't sound great that looks a lot better swapping scarlita seems like a solid strategy let's see how this goes and i'm gonna slow it down out of two times speed so you guys can see a little bit more of how the combat goes now you see way up in the sky here is our scarlita she's going to provide shields and stuff in reality the only hero we really care about on our side is going to be that dnl He's going to get an ultimate soon, and then he is going to unleash hell from heaven. <laughs> so here he goes. He's going to jump into the sky, and he's going to start laying waste. One of the best AoE damage dealers in the game. And at the same time on our side, Scarlita comes down, and you can see how this works out. Just absolute dominance from the sky. Yes, he's still in the sky, and you can see that chain as well. So he has some amazing PvP potential. However... Like I said, this isn't something you should really go for in your own account because, again, this is mainly focused on PvP only. And if you are a normal average player, you really should not be focusing on PvP whatsoever, even though he is absolutely busted. Now, I do want to see how his Supreme Arena is going. I'd love to see what his teams actually already are set up at. So, uh, ooh, number one. I actually... It's so hard to know who you're facing at the top because... So much of the team can be actually hidden on this season because you can see right here the whole first lineup is just completely hidden. Let's see if I can get anywhere with his team. So it looks like he does have a very similar-ish team except he's going for more buffing power, which I do like. 
And of course, he is going for Enlightening Spell, not getting crowd control. I really wonder how Cascade Spell would be for him, so I'm going to make that change and see what happens. Uh, beyond that, we have what? Uh, this is an interesting squad. We don't really have any true tank on it, but it looks like that is usually, this is basically like a mirror match right here. And then it looks like we have a DN, or, uh, not a DNL, a Burial with Scarleta type team. Let's just see how this works because these are teams that he has set up. However, I do really want to see how this Cascade spell works because it's going to boost his energy a ton at the very beginning. I'm almost tempted to put him further away, but it's weird how... Oh, yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, I was wondering why the Nero is linked to the Thorn. It's not supposed to be like that. This is how it's supposed to be so that even if he does die, he will come back. So let's take a look at this main battle because this is the one we care about the most right here. So watch his energy at the beginning of the battle. It should go to the moon. It looks like it's a DNL mirror, which this might actually be a huge advantage that we're using this artifact. Although they're using Crescent Spell. But you can see how much faster we get into the air. I don't know if that's going to be a positive or if it's going to be a negative for us. He does eventually go up, which means we will fall to the ground. But hopefully this means most of their team is dead before their DNL even gets to really do stuff. And yeah, it looks like we pretty much took out everybody on both sides of the battlefield. However, they do have a Damien that's giving that haste. We are still linked up, which is good. And we haven't used our life yet, so that's good. So let's just speed the rest of this battle up, see what happens. We did get stunned, and this is the big disadvantage of run, running that one right there, and we did die a second time. So when you're going up against the DNL Mirror, being the first one in the air may not be the best option for us. So as good as it can be to get that additional attack speed, get up in the air faster, it might be a negative result, and I might have just tanked one of his attacks here today. I apologize, but it kind of seems like this is what it is. Let's see what the last battle looks like with the Scarleta. We got the Burial going crazy on uh, both sides of the battlefield, it looks like, right? Well, they have Florabelle. Ooh. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this one here. Man, I would love to work with DLSL and get his teams up to, like, really cool compositions. Oh, that was a huge hit by Scarleta, which is why tomorrow I might be building her on our own account. But I want to make sure we highlighted a couple different things with DNL because... He can be crazy good. Scarleta is the safer bet out of the two if you're building a second Hypogen or Celestial. Because as you can see here, she's just doing some crazy amount of damage. Literally yeeting people off the screen. I don't know what's going on here. It's bugged out or something. That was really weird. Really, really weird. But uh, So yeah, if you're going up in a mirror match, probably not the best way to do it. Let's do one more arena match so you guys can see how he can be in this battle. And again, I do really like the Enlightening spell. If the enemy team is running heavy control, it just makes sure that he's not going to get CC'd. He can get in the air, and he should be pretty good. Uh, in this situation, I'm going to change back to an Aaron setup here. Like the this, I guess. Actually, put him over here. Shouldn't matter. They're going to get all grouped up anyway, but dnl should go crazy once again and he is like one of the best pvp heroes in the game where you don't even need like a very specific team setup this map's really awesome for him because his spears pierce everybody and just hits them hard we're not going to get twined or anything or immobilized because of this the only thing that does work it seems like are artifacts but then he just jumps in the air and yeah <laughs> yeah so you guys can see what i'm talking about dnl is absolutely amazing and hopefully you get to build him in the future however he is definitely not a project you want to go for anywhere near in the remote future but i figured i'd highlight him let him know why he's just so good how he's so good and he can also be useful in afk stages and stuff like that he's just not as good as most teams so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time